itself, more profile for your cause? Well, it does. I mean, it's not my cause, Ian, it's our cause. Um, and I just want to address, I've come into this conversation and just listened to some of what your previous guest was saying. And I think your listeners need to be really aware that anyone who is telling them that this is not an emergency and that this is not um, an extreme situation that we're in that threatens um, everything that we rely on to live safe and comfortable lives um, is being lied to. And the and any, any suggestion that there's nothing to worry about at the Right. Hiya. First of all, you're the one that's being lied to, love. At the end of the day, you're going on and on and on and all these just stop all idiots. How long is it going to be? I mean, some of them have already been injured now, sitting in the streets. I mean, you saw everyone see the video. Geezer got out of his car or his van, punched and kicked one of them, which should he have done? Not really. You shouldn't have just dragged them up the side. If you want to kick them at the side of the road and kick them at the side of the road, you know, stop them from moving back, not kick them while they're in the road, so then it'd be more difficult to move them, no sense there, but that's beside the point, these people just don't realise something really, really, fit. UK is literally what, 2% I think it is now, like of the pollution that we put out into the world, let me just put you down for a minute, and we are not anywhere near the biggest, you know. We all know what countries are. And they don't protest there, do they? No. Why not? Because, oh, the penalties for them doing that will be severe. Maybe, a, like, they get a slap on the wrist from a judge or magistrate over here and they get nicked and taken to court. Over there, no, they'd be straight in the nick. You know? So... They're not going to stop it. And who's to say their figures are wrong? You know, like, at the end of the day, we are warming up still from the last ice age. How many of them take that into consideration? How many of them take into consideration? I mean, you've got the woman on this now says, oh, the temperatures that we've been having lately is the ones highest recorded ever in our, like, since humans have been on here. No. Sorry, love. Watch um, Joe Rogan podcast. Watch Randall Carlson. Yeah, he's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Master builder, geologist. And he shows you in irrefutable facts of the last, um, let's just go 50 to 100, like, thousand years. Yeah. And. He tells of a group of doc like scientists that basically went to the Arctic and they spent five years, it was, I think, drilling down, right, in the ice. And obviously all the core samples that they pull up, they can then judge from the way the ice is and the colour of the ice and everything else exactly what the temperatures was like through those different errors and you will see because he'll show you with a graph with all the squiggly lines all they go is so let's just say if going to the left yeah is getting hotter and then go, obviously it goes out and then it'll come back down to go cold like with a line yes yeah? so you got left and there it, it'll come out then it'll go down it'll come out then it'll go down that's just the way what the earth does you know, it's been doing it for millions or billions of years almost, you know, since there was a breathable atmosphere on this planet. Them saying all oh, the carbon's getting trapped around the Earth. Stop lying. I'm sorry. This is just... Normally, I'm happy to stay quiet and just do me thing. It's just got to the point now. I've had to make this video. Now, I know probably not a lot of you uh, even watched this far in. I hope you have. Because it's me having a rant, and I enjoy having a rant, because sometimes it can be funny. But normally I'm actually playing these slots, and cause obviously it's a slots channel, isn't it? But every now and then, I just can't keep quiet anymore. And things like this really wind me up. It really does. And the fact now, the police don't even bother them just, like these oil protesters, you know. The, well, the police say it's not worth their time. 
Everyone's like, oh, where were the police when this one got kicked in the face? Police don't care. Police probably said, like, good on ya. You know, wish we could do it. They're a pain in the fucking ass. <sighs> but no, so that's probably the reason why. And it, like I said a little while ago, it's only going to be a matter of time when someone literally at 30, 40 mile an hour just ploughs through them. And it won't just be one of them getting their foot run over. They, it, Somebody will get killed. You know, they will piss somebody off in the wrong way. And it will happen. It's only a matter of time. And it ain't only in this country that they're doing it. So it could be in any of those countries where the law's not as strict or anything as it is here. You know? So it is going to happen. Them just stop world protesters, unfortunately, will suffer major casualties. But yeah, and as for this world... Oh, they're saying all about the carbon that's getting trapped and everything else. No, there isn't. It's absolutely fine. This world has been going on for, what, four billion years, five billion years. And it it suffered a lot worse than us. George Carlin says it right. You know, even he says it. The great comedian stroke philosopher that he was. You know, you work out what this planet has been through through just hurricanes, continental shifts, ice, reoccurring ice ages, um, impacts by comets and meteors, in magnetic reversal of the poles, just earthquakes, you name it, this planet's been through it, it's absolutely fine. We have got more, there is enough trees and greenery in this world to pull down any of the carbon, it soaks it all up, all the trees, bushes, grass, plants, you name it, that's all over the place. And then what does it do? It gives off oxygen. Basic it, basic science, you know, it's ridiculous. But you've got these idiots who are being, believe what like, they believe what they're being told about it. And I just, oh, it just does red in. And if anyone agrees, let me know. You know, let me know in the comments. So, yeah, I just wanted to have a quick rant about that. That's taken, what, seven minutes. So, a seven-minute rant. It weren't worth me going live to rant. I mean, if it carries on, then, like, all this on here, then, yeah, I'll probably end up going live, and I will do a live rant. <laughs> And it won't just be about the climate. There's so many points I want to get off my chest that wind me up. It's getting to the point that I don't want to look on YouTube because everything on there is just so toxic and it pisses me off. It actually pisses me off. You've got all these red pill um, podcasts like not mentioning any names, but they know what ones they are. And they have all these young little bit girls on there. Hey, I'm an OnlyFans model. No, you're basically a prostitute, love. That's all you are. Any bird that does OnlyFans is just basically a prostitute. And they say, oh, they might earn money from it. But guess what? You ain't getting a job anywhere else. Who's going to... Oh, I saw her slapping down a fucking new fucking dong the other night. Oh. And now we've got her in the office. Oh, I'll have her in the back room. Yeah, no, like that's unfortunately male mentality. But again, these are subjects for another time. Um, I mean, like I said, I don't want to lose subscriptions or anything because, like, obviously, with what I'm saying and that, but. I think there does come a time when you do need to get things off your chest. And the only reason I'm going to be posting this is I want to know if any of you agree with me. Yeah, no, I mean, all right, if I lose subs, I lose subs. I don't like, I, it, of course it matters. I mean, but shouldn't lose any just because of what I'm saying about Just Stop World. I think they're all a bunch of fucking idiots and I'm sure you all agree. But... I don't know. Honestly, don't know. This world's just gone to pot. It really and honestly has. If you... It could not get any more upside down if it wanted to. 
Hmm. Madness, isn't it? Uh, but anyway, I want to say on the end, just like in closing, thanks for everyone that has subscribed, all the new ones. Um, them last four last things I put up, those just obviously uh, little trailers of upcoming games, and isn't it amazing how the fishing frenzy, even bigger catch. I told you it'll go jackpot king. That's the only reason I put it up there is because I told you it'd happen. And that's the one that's got the most views. So I get so many, obviously, in the like when I do get comments from subs and stuff saying, Oh, can you play this? Can you play that? It's like I'll happily play something, but it's getting to the point why? Because no one watches it. Look at the um, bonus I've got on Top Cat, the last one. Hardly any, hardly any views on it. You know, and. Top Cat's the same as Fishing Frenzy. At the end of the day, it's just different skinned. So, I don't know. And I might eventually move away from slots. You know, the way things are going. Everyone's going to the uh, crypto casinos now. I've got no intention of that. Even though it would be nice to do um, bonus buys again. But it's just too much aggro, it seems. And you've got um, fees for this, fees for that. And... Where's the fun now? You know, the whole fun of playing on a slot is going, if not gone. So, I don't know. I might give it to the end of the year. If I can hit a thousand subs by the end of the year, brilliant. If not, I think I'll just do something else. You know, but this is the fun bit with YouTube, isn't it? Trial and error. You try something for a little while. If it don't work, you move on to something else. So... Yeah, anyway, until next time I do a video, yeah, let's nudge your ear, saying ta-da.